and welcome back to The Average, or welcome to The Average Artist. I don't know why we say welcome to The Average, it doesn't really make any sense. So, hello, <laughs> I'm Steph, I'm the so-called Average Artist, and today we are looking at these Sketch Marker Premium Professional 48 Colours alcohol markers that I found in like a pound land slash a store I guess you would call it in 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 America um in the US of A and yeah I found these they were 17.99 euros for 48 colors so that works out to let me get my calculator because I'm not good at maths that's why I do art yeah so it's 30 cents a marker, which is pretty cheap, pretty cheap. I did notice that this one is a tip, not a brush marker like I'm used to, but you can't have everything, can you, if, uh, if you're getting it cheap. But I just wanted to test these out. These are made apparently in Madrid. Um, so they, I bought these in a shop in Spain. So designed in Spain, made in PRC. I don't know what that means, P.RC. So if anyone knows, let me know. And it has the listing here, which is a Spanish address, and it's BF, which is standing for Beautiful Face. Is the is the company, and it does have a website. So I'm gonna look it up. www.bfmadrid. Nope, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Fine. Okay then beautiful face you shall be forever a mystery let's open these up i've also got my sketchbook here because i'll show you in a minute what i'm planning to do with these sorry if that was a really loud like croaking sound but they don't look too bad the tops look nice they have numbers they have names they have the color we'll see if they match the color they're pretty solidly in there i don't know if they have like a yeah they've got a little case you know pretty nice not too shabby for 30 cents a marker let's open to a page and just test out the let's just test out the colors of them first of all uh so i'm just gonna get this pink because i'm drawn to it so this is how they look they're in english for some reason even though they're made in spain it says sketch marker alcohol base quick drying ny752 so it does have like the marker there number and then 17 pink pastel okay we'll see if your pastel pastel so the tip um yeah okay not bad i can already feel that they're a bit like you know when you have you have a felt tip pen is it felt tip pen felt tip coloring pens they feel a little bit like that but as you can see the color is quite smooth so it's not too bad does the color match the top kind of not really it's more neon than i would say pastel but we'll give them a break so they're actually not too bad they are alcohol markers you can see that they are like bleeding into each other they don't leave that like texture that felt tip pens do or other pens do which is very nice considering they're very very cheap so let's see The colours are nice as well. It's actually not too bad. I was expecting much worse, so here we go. They seem to blend well. Let's try a different, more obvious colour for blending. Um, this blue. To be fair, I think they are actually doing quite a nice job. Um, And they blend quite well too. Well, I say blend, they go over each other. <laughs> it doesn't really blend into each other. I'm sure maybe if it's wet on wet. So yeah, these are looking actually not too bad. End of the video, well done to BF Beautiful Face Sketch Markers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to colour in some pictures that I drew yesterday, which you might have already had a sneak peek when I turn the page. Yeah, I just drew these yesterday, so I'm going to colour them in. And, and also, I have this new technique that I found on TikTok where 
um, you draw the image with this coloured pencil. I've just used a normal Faber Castell pencil, but you could probably use like um, those coal erase ones, which are really good for drawing with because they erase quite well. These ones erase quite well too, but I've been using them and then going over with a alcohol marker, the whole shape, and then just drawing over with another pencil on top. So I'm going to try that with these pens and see how it works out. I kind of am drawn to doing this side first, so let's see how it goes. <coughs> I got my coffee. What's your drink of choice today, guys? If you have a drink, maybe you don't. So I'm going to pick a relatively softer colour, I guess, for this, but I don't know which ones are soft. Um, let's have a look. That This pink was quite bright, right? Oh no, this is a pale lilac, which actually sometimes I'll use as sh uh, a shadow shade. So let's see. Yeah, as you can see, the the fine tip, a bit scratchy, but I always find that with these fine tips, I really prefer a brush tip, but you know, like I said, you can't get everything for a cheap price. Maybe you can, I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna use this color and go over this image with this. Hello, Gigi, you okay? <coughs> Thanks. <laughs> you have to keep moving. You have to keep moving, okay. Thank you. Uh, what I am a bit worried about is if it's just gonna like eat all the pencil up because I know for a fact that my Himmy ones are fine because I've been using them. But this one, I'm like, is it gonna smudge the pencil underneath? I don't know, because I don't know the, the formula. Not that I know the formula for Hilly, but you know what I mean. I know that it works. <laughs> this is feeling quite dark, actually. But let's see. So it seems to be doing quite a good job not, like, kind of blurring out the lines, which is good, because I kind of thought that that might be what happened. Sorry if you hear a lot of background noise. It's very busy today here for some reason. Okay, uh, it's very dark color, which is fine. We can do dark. I don't know where my sharpener has gone. Okay, this is fine. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go over this now with another darker, like a brown polychromos Faber-Castell pencil is what I'm using here. And just highlighting where I can see the pencil line. You might not be able to see the pencil line still on the camera. I'm not sure, but you might be, but I can see it. And also the great thing about doing this technique is that you can kind of erase like any mistakes that you had previously. Okay, so for these next few drawings, I just decided to draw without chatting to the camera. So these are the drawings and I went with different colors. I used different pencils and then tried to think maybe if I rub out some lines, would that work? If I use like dark pencils in certain areas. So this page is completely an experiment. With this one, I wanted to uh, draw with ink. I don't know why, I just got the sudden feeling that maybe I could try the ink style. Because pencils look nice, and I'm used to drawing with pencils a lot when it comes to doing my comics and stuff. But I just wanted to see what the ink was gonna look like with these, this kind of style of going completely over the pencil with the alcohol markers. And I used a different like color for where the veil is on this character, on this character, on this person. And I think it looks really cool actually. So let's see how it turns out. I mean, it might look really weird, but let's have a go. And this is 
me inking. Um, I realise that I've messed up here because the pencil is actually there, but it doesn't matter. Because hopefully the ink will be such a strong contrast that you won't really notice the pencil is wrong. So if you saw my last video, you saw that I've recently been interested in using ink instead of just going with like Coleraise, Coleraise, um, instead of going with pencils, the Faber-Castell ones, which I draw all my comics with. So I was thinking maybe to ink the next one with this ink pen, and I don't know, I'm just kind of looking for styles, you know, searching out what might work. Um, and it might work, I don't know. I, I do like inking, it's quite fun and it does have a different look and feel. So maybe it's the next step towards finding my style. Well, not finding my style, but, because I don't know, do I have a style? I'm not, I'm still never sure that if I'm properly done <laughs> evolving. I think no one is ever done evolving, right? But you know what I mean? like. Is this my style? If you saw it, would you be like, yeah, Steph drew that? I don't know. So, just forever experimenting, I guess, with art supplies is something that I enjoy. Uh, that was scary, doing that circle was scary. Okay. And. This is kind of coming over this hat that she's wearing, which is like not really that obvious that it's a hat, but whatever. The brim of the hat is here. There we go. Okay, so this is kind of like the veil here. Maybe it would have been fun to keep it just lineless, but. The veil, I mean, but oh well, done it now. I really like these ink pens, the way that you can get a bit of a rough texture with them once they start running out of ink. Well, it's not really running out of ink, but it's like you squish this barrel to get the ink to go down into the pen. So you can kind of get a feel of when it's running out a bit. So if you want more ink, you have to like squish it. And sometimes it looks good. What is this like here? If you're wondering, I am using Pinterest for like inspirational images. I think Pinterest is okay to use for like reference. Um, and especially if you're just practicing, which I'm doing, so. Well, there we go, that's like with the ink, which I think kind of looks cool. What do you guys think? Um, we're going to do the last image and then we'll be done. But I don't know if I want to do another grey because I think it looks really nice with this pink undertone like pencil. So I think I might do that again. This grey looks nice. Oh, yeah.
darker. That's the colour underneath. I've decided to try and see if I can leave like some white space and see how that looks. Um, I wonder as well if these pens like layer after this. Maybe we can just do like a bit of background of grey here. Realise that probably <laughs> if it's a veil, that bit would be lighter than underneath, but whatever. Maybe I can make the hat really dark. With this really dark grey. I kind of like how that looks a bit more interesting, like visually. Also, I have, if you saw my inking video last week, I have this other pen, pen that's like run out and it's a bit like crusty. <laughs> so, I use it for like textures and stuff. So, it might be quite nice to use it here for like a bit of dry brushing. experimenting now this looks completely different to like this style but it's just to see what it might look like because you never know maybe I'll be like this is the new style for the comic but let's see I am fully aware that I'm a bit like run down <laughs> work-wise so <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to get a new comic out by Thought Bubble but let's see maybe there's always a chance. Looks kind of cool. Let's get to inking this last one. Ooh, the pen looks a little bit. Okay, so her hair is like slicked back. I think this is like for a Vogue shoot or something. So they have like really sharp edges, which is cool as well to draw for character inspiration because you know if you have an evil character they're sharp and if you have like a nice character they're soft and round that's usually the case anyway for like character design so it's kind of interesting to think about who this woman is as a character even though it's just taken from Vogue shoot whatever she's obviously some sort of like powerful lady if you look at it in that sense Yeah, I really like the grey with like this pink highlighted undertone. I think it looks quite cool. And then she's got like this cool earring here, which I don't know. Really quick so that's kind of it really uh, these are the designs that I've created or drawings rather and I've used these sketch markers 30 cents a pen and it was really nice it they were fine I mean I haven't really done any super detailed like coloring maybe that's for the next video but you never know next time you see these <laughs> you ever see these face, what is it called, beautiful face 
markers in your local dollar store. They're worth checking out if you're on a budget. There we go. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time.